Unraveling the Mystery, Understanding, Sowing Your Wild Oats. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, sowing your wild oats. It's a phrase you might have heard in movies, books, or even in casual conversations. But what does it really mean? Stay tuned as we explore its origins, meaning, and how you can use it in everyday English. Sowing your wild oats is a metaphorical phrase that dates back centuries. To sow means to plant seeds, and oats are a type of grain. However, when we talk about sowing wild oats, we're not discussing agriculture. This phrase is actually used to describe a period in a young person's life when they act somewhat recklessly, indulging in pleasurable activities and perhaps making decisions that are not considered socially responsible or mature. It's often associated with youthful adventures, experimentation, and, sometimes, misbehavior. The origin of sowing your wild oats is quite interesting. It comes from the agricultural practice of planting wild or non-cultivated oats. Unlike the oats grown for food, wild oats were considered worthless, a metaphor for the fruitless endeavors or activities one might engage in during their youth. The phrase was first recorded in English literature in the 16th century and has been used since then to refer to young people experiencing life, often in ways that society might frown upon. Knowing when and how to use sowing your wild oats is crucial in making your English sound natural. This phrase is typically used in a past tense context, reflecting on a person's younger years. For example, he sowed his wild oats in his 20s but is quite responsible now. It can be used in both a light-hearted and a cautionary way, depending on the context. However, be mindful of the setting and the company you're in when using this phrase, as discussions about personal life and behavior can be sensitive topics. Today, the phrase, sowing your wild oats, might not carry the same judgment it once did. In modern contexts, it's often seen as a natural part of growing up, learning about oneself, and making mistakes. It's a reminder that everyone has a past and that personal growth often comes from these experiences. And that wraps up our exploration of sowing your wild oats. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase, enriching your English vocabulary and understanding of cultural expressions. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, it's also about the stories and histories behind those words. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!